Hello everybody, my name is Colleen from the Haverhill Public Library and tonight is pajama story time. So I'm wearing my PJs and I have my little bunny Sammy with me. So we'll read some stories and sing some songs. Our theme today is all about hats. So I have a couple of signs to start off from American Sign Language. The first sign is for day. So you have one arm out flat and one arm that points up as if you were pointing at the sun and then it goes down and that's how you say day. Then if you want to say night, you have one hand like this and another hand jumps over like it was the cow jumping over the moon and that's how you say night. And finally, if you want to say hat, you take your hand and you pat twice on your head because that's where your hat would go. Good job. Now we are going to start off with a welcoming song called, If You'd Like to Read a Book, Clap Your Hands. Sing along, okay? Here we go. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. Now our first story is called Mrs. Honey's Hat by Pam Adams. And I have a puppet of Mrs. Honey and on the back, all of the amazing things on her hat. And throughout the story, the things on Mrs. Honey's hat will change and I'll show you how they change. Let's begin. Mrs. Honey's Hat. Mrs. Honey had a hat. On Monday, she wore it when she took her grandson Peter to the park. She bought him some bubble gum and sat on a bench with her knitting. Peter thought those feathers would make my arrows fly better. So he pulled the feathers off the hat and his bubble gum got stuck to the brim. So Mrs. Honey's hat has some blue feathers, but her grandson Peter took those off and left some bubble gum behind. He left the bubble gum behind, but Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Tuesday, Mrs. Honey wore her hat to visit a friend. They sat in the garden in the shade of a tree and ate cakes. Mm. Some birds flew down to pick up the crumbs. Those cherries look good, they chirped. So they flew off with them. One little bird left some eggs behind. All right, so it looks like right there, we see on Mrs. Honey's hat, there are some cherries and that bird took the cherries and left behind some eggs. So I'll put the eggs on the brim. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Wednesday, Mrs. Honey spent a day at the seaside. The sun shone and the water was just right for paddling. Mrs. Honey felt very happy. Afterwards, Mrs. Honey took off her hat and sat in the sun. A hermit crab thought that shell would make a nice new home. So he scuttled away with the shell and left some seaweed behind. So let's see, here is Mrs. Honey's hat. And here is the shell that that hermit crab scuttled away with. Do you remember what the hermit crab left behind? That's right. The hermit crab left some seaweed behind on Mrs. Honey's hat. Let's see what happens next. So Mrs. Honey left her hat in the sand and the crab scuttled away leaving seaweed behind. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. 
On Thursday, Mrs. Honey picked dandelions to make wine. It was very hard work. She took off her hat and put it on the fence. A cow in the field saw the hat on the fence. What beautiful big buttercups she mooed. So she took a mouthful and her bell fell onto Mrs. Honey's hat. So on Mrs. Honey's hat, we have some yellow flowers called buttercups. And those were chomped at by the cow. And the cow left moo, ding, ding, a bell behind. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Friday, Mrs. Honey went to see an old castle. Just look at those cobwebs, exclaimed Mrs. Honey. This place could do with a good clean. A big black spider dropped onto her hat. Hooray, he said. This lace will make a good, strong cobweb. So he hurried away with the lace, and he left all his old webs behind. So she had some delicate white lace, and the spider ran off with the lace and left some cobwebs behind. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Saturday, Mrs. Honey took her cat to a cat show. There were all sorts of fine cats, but she hoped that hers would win first prize. Do you know what the cats say? That's right, they go meow, meow, and maybe purr. An alley cat saw Mrs. Honey's hat through the window. That ribbon might help me to win first prize, he thought. So he pulled it from the hat and left some fish bones behind. So on her hat, Mrs. Honey has a beautiful purple ribbon. And the cat snagged that ribbon and left behind, yuck, some old fish bones. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Sunday, Mrs. Honey went to church. Everyone seemed to be staring at her. Whatever can it be, she wondered. Perhaps it's time I bought a new hat. After the service, Mrs. Honey hurried home to look in the mirror. Then she noticed the bubble gum, the eggs, the seaweed, the bell, the cobwebs, and the fish bones. Goodness, she exclaimed, I've got a new hat. But she wasn't sure that she liked it. Oh, Mrs. Honey. So now let's look at Mrs. Honey's new hat. We have pink bubble gum, black cobwebs, green seaweed, blue bird eggs, a yellow bell, and green and white fish bones. That is quite the hat. And Mrs. Honey, in the end, did notice, and she decided she didn't like the new hat. Now I have a finger play to share, and this is how it goes. These are Grandma's glasses. This is Grandma's hat. And this is how she folds her hands and lays them in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses. This is Grandpa's hat. And this is how he folds his arms and takes a little nap. Great job. Now I have a felt board nursery rhyme and I'm going to put up the pieces and then share the rhyme. Let's see, we have a cat and a dog and a cow jumping over a moon and a dish, and a spoon. And this nursery rhyme is called, Hey Diddle Diddle, and this is how it goes. 
Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. And I have a version of this rhyme in La Madre Goose, Nursery Rhymes for Los Niños. It's by Susan Middleton Elia and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. And these rhymes are all bilingual rhymes where they're in English and also in Spanish. And this rhyme is called Hey Diddle Diddle. And this is how it goes. Hey diddle diddle, el gato and the fiddle. La vaca jumped over la luna. El perro laughed to see such sport. And el plato stole una fortuna. So it's a little different because el plato is the plate, steals a fortune instead of running away with the spoon. Let's share this one once more. Hey diddle diddle, el gato and the fiddle. La vaca jumped over la luna. El perro laughed to see such sport, and El Plato stole una fortuna. All right. Now we have another book, and it is called Hooray for Hat, Words and Pictures by Brian Wan. When Elephant woke up, he was very grumpy. The doorbell rang. Elephant stomped down the stairs. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Go away, I'm grumpy. There was a present on the doorstep. Elephant unwrapped the box. It was hard to stay grumpy now. Hooray for hat, Elephant cheered. I will show Zebra. But Zebra did not want to look at any hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. So Elephant gave Zebra a hat. Zebra smiled. They both cheered, hooray for hat. Let's show Turtle. But Turtle would not come out of his shell. Go away, I'm grumpy. Elephant gave Turtle a hat too. Turtle smiled. They all cheered. Hooray for hat. Let's show Owl. But Owl did not want to see them or their hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. Elephant gave Owl a hat too. Owl smiled. They all cheered. Hoo, hoo, hooray for hat. Elephant, Zebra, Turtle, and Owl marched down the road to show Lion. Hooray for hat. But Lion did not want any visitors. Go away, I'm grumpy. Elephant gave Lion a hat too, but Lion was still sad. I love this hat, but I can't cheer while our friend Giraffe is not feeling well. What can we do? So Elephant, Zebra, Turtle, Owl, and Lion made a surprise for Giraffe. They all marched to Giraffe's home. On the way, Lion started to feel better. And soon, <gasps> Giraffe felt better to hooray for friends. And that was hooray for hat. All right, now I have a song to sing that I'm sure you will recognize, and it's called Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And I'm gonna put up a felt board to go with it. So let me take down our Hey Diddle Diddle rhyme and put up some stars. And what else should go in Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star?
I'll put up the moon too. And we have right here the world and one more star. All right, so this is a finger play too, so move your fingers along to the rhyme. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. My Good early job. literacy tip for today is when you're reading with your little one, make sure you share rhymes. Today's theme is all about hats. H-A-T for hat. But we can switch out the H for a P and make pat. So you could pat on your head. Or we could switch out the P for a C and make cat. Or we could switch out the C for an R and make rat. Now we are going to share some baby bouncing rhymes, which is when you have your little one on your lap and you bounce them along. And so I'll bring back out the cat for a little bouncing. If you have a very small child, you might decide that you want to have it be a little bit of a bounce like this in your arms, or if you have an older child, they can bounce themselves, just kind of squatting and then bouncing. And this is the first rhyme. It is called the bouncing rhyme, and this is how it goes. I bounce you here, I bounce you there, I bounce you, bounce you everywhere. I hug you here, I hug you there, I hug you, hug you everywhere. I tickle you here, I tickle you there, I tickle you, tickle you everywhere. And now our second rhyme. I'm going to add a hat to our cat. And it is a train connector's hat, it's a little big. And this next baby bouncing rhyme is called Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. So you can move your little one's arms to make the Chugga Chugga Choo Choo motion to either side of them, or you can just move your arms. And this is how it goes. Here is the train chugging down the track. Chugga 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 Choo Choo. Now it's going forward. Chugga Chugga Chug. Now it's going backward. Chug a chug a chug. Hear the bell ring. Ding, 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 ding. Hear the whistle blow. Choo, choo. Ooh, what a lot of noise it makes. What a lot of noise it makes. Chug a chug a chug a chug a chug a chug a choo, choo. Now take off our hat. And this last baby bounce rhyme is called Baby Baby Smile At Me. And this is a really soothing one, so it's great before bed. And I think it's best if you have your little one face you on your lap or face you like this in your arms. And this is how it goes. It's to the tune of London Bridge. Baby, baby, smile at me, smile at me, smile at me. Baby, baby, smile at me. I love you, my baby. And now you clap your little one's hands. Baby, baby, clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Baby, baby, clap with me. I love you, my baby. And then finally, a little sway. You could even get up and move a little. Baby, baby, dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Baby, baby, dance with me. I love you, my baby. And those are our baby bounces for tonight. Now I have another book to share. And this next, next book is called This Is Not My Hat by John Classen. And this is a Caldecott Medal Award winner.
This hat is not mine. I just stole it. <gasps> I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. Uh-oh, I think the fish is awake. And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know it was me who took it. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't know where I am going. But I will tell you where I am going. I am going where the plants grow big and tall and close together. It is very hard to see in there. Nobody will ever find me. There is someone who saw me already, but he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way that I went. So I am not worried about that. Uh-oh, there's the big fish. And what is that crab that saw where the little fish went? What is that crab doing? I think the crab is saying which way the little fish went. Uh-oh. I know it's wrong to steal a hat. I know it does not belong to me, but I am going to keep it. It was too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. And look, I made it where the plants are big and tall and close together. I knew I was going to make it. <gasps> Uh-oh. There's the little fish, and there's the big fish. Nobody will ever find me. <gasps> the big fish swims away, and the crab watches. But where's the little fish? <gasps> the big fish got their hat back. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. The end. And that was, this is not my hat. And there are a whole lot of fun books by John Classens. You should check out more books that have these kind of dramatic stories and great illustrations. All right, now I have a finger play to share. We're gonna wiggle along our fingers. If you have a small child, you can do a little bit of a tickle rhyme along their shoulders. If you have a larger child, they can probably follow along themselves. First, we're gonna make our hand into a snail and scooch along our arm. And then we'll make our hands into a little mouse skittering very fast. And this is how it goes. It goes. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the garden rail. And then you end with a little tickle. <laughs> and then, quickly, quickly, very quickly, runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, into their little house. And then another tickle. <laughs> All right, and now we have a song. And for this song, I will get out our little rat, R-A-T, rhymes with hat, and rock them along to the song. And this song is called Frere Jacques, and it's in French. Frere Jacques, 
Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines. Ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Now I have another book to share, and it is called Blue Hat by Angie Sage. Blue Sea, Big Boat. Blue Hat, Won't Float. Blue Water, Blue Whale. That almost looks like the picture of the big fish in our last story with a little hat. Blue water, blue whale, blue stripes on the sail. I like blue. Do you? They like the color blue. Do you have a favorite color? That is a beautiful color. I really like blue violet. It's my favorite color crayon. And that was blue hat. Now we have a finger play that's called shh, be very quiet. And this is how it goes. Shh, be very quiet. Shh, be very still. Fold your busy little hands. Close your sleepy little eyes. Shh, be very quiet. Shh, be very still. Shh. Now with bubbles blowing behind me, we'll sing Rockabye Baby. Rockabye baby in the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come, baby, cradle and all. Now we will finish with our goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done today, so come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Bye. Thank you for joining me.